Hello, what's up everyone? It's time for the most requested video. For this tutorial, I will be talking about dodging and burning with Photoshop. I will try to cover the basics by showing the dodging and burning process on this image using Photoshop's own tools as well as the TK panel plugin. So let's go. If you're here just for the dodging and burning part, check the chapters of the video. But before I can start with this, of course, we have to do the basic raw adjustments to get the base image right. So let me go through this real quick. For this shot, I'm going to change the profile to Adobe Standard. I'm also adjusting the white balance. Right now in the shadows, you can see the heavy blue color cast, which doesn't look very natural. So we are going to boost the temperature up. That looks much better. Now let's also bring up the tint. Just a bit so we get rid of the subtle green color cast, but that looks pretty good. Then let's also bring down the highlights a bit so we don't have any overexposure in the image. Also, I'm going to drop the shadows for some more contrast. And I'm also increasing the whites. Then finally, let's bring up the vibrance since I want this image to be saturated. Just like that. That looks pretty solid. Of course, I also have applied a few local adjustments, starting with the sky, where I have added this gradiated filter. Here, I just want to slightly bring down the exposure. So we get a nice little touch of blue in the sky. Just like that. All right. Then there are also two radial filters. One up here, which is just to add some kind of glow effect by increasing the blacks and dropping the dehaze. And I want to apply the same thing on the left side. So let's just bring up the blacks here, decrease the dehaze, and also let's add some temperature for a subtle golden hour light in there. Perfect. Now we might as well add a radial filter over the pile in the foreground and just add a little bit more texture here and maybe some clarity. But that's it. That's a pretty solid looking base image. The histogram looks nice. Only thing left to do is to apply a little bit of color grading. In the color mixer, I want to boost the orange tones slightly and maybe the yellow tones as well. Okay. And in the color grading tab, I'm going to work on the mid tones by again, applying a warm color tone to them. Just like that. Maybe let's bring down the saturation though. Perfect. So that's it for the raw adjustments. Just went through them real quick so we can get to the dodging and burning part. For that, let's open up this image in Photoshop. All right, here we are. So let's talk about dodging and burning. When we are talking about dodging, we are making certain parts of the image brighter. For example, we could dodge the steam coming off of that rock pile and thus make it a little brighter. Burning, on the other hand, is when we are darkening certain parts of the image. For example, the mountains in the back to give us a little more contrast. When I do dodging and burning, I usually use luminosity masks with the help of the TK panel plugin. But Photoshop itself has some own tools to do that as well. So let's start with them first. In this case, I'm going to duplicate my background layer by hitting Ctrl J, just so I have a backup. And now in the left hand menu, you can find the dodging and burning tool. First off for this image, I do want to make a few parts a little brighter. That means I'm going to use the dodge tool. Here it's important to not just randomly dodge things in your image. In this case, I have a clear main subject, which is the steaming rock pile here in the foreground. This is a perfect example of something to dodge so we can bring some more attention to it. Up there, under the range menu, you have a few more options, shadows, midtones, and highlights, and the strength of the dodging tool. Since we want to work on this pile, we do need to change the range from highlights to midtones, since here we can mostly see midtones. With this done, I can simply carefully brush around in this area, and you can see it will get brighter. So let's do this a few times, but always be careful with those tools. And we can even affect the steam coming off of it. 
just like that. Now let me turn off this dodging layer and you can see already a major difference in those two images. Next, let's say I want to dodge this part of the steam. If I go in there with the midtone selected, it does work, but I can also be a little more precise and change the range from midtones to highlights. And now let's just brush over it and you can see how it specifically targets the steam coming off of it. As you can see, this works really, really good. If I would go on with the dodge tool and the highlights selected, and I'm going to brush over the dark part of the foreground, you can see there's not much happening as it just tries to target the highlights. So if you want to target this area, we simply have to choose the shadows and then we can nicely brush over it. But that's not what I want for this image, so let's undo this. All right, so that's it for the dodging. Now I'm going to duplicate that dodge layer and on this newest layer, I want to apply some burning. Again, up there, we do have a range with shadows, midtones and highlights and the strength of the burning. In this case, I do want to make the area around this rock pile a little darker so we can focus even more on this rock pile. I have the midtones selected and with a rather low exposure I'm going to just brush around this rock pile. Let me deactivate this layer so you can see the difference. It is kind of strong so I might have used a bit too high of an exposure right there. But let's just continue. We can also burn the mountains a little bit so we get some more contrast between the steam and the mountains. Just like that. Now, if you have watched a few videos on this channel, you might have noticed I almost never use Photoshop's own dodging and burning tools. On the one hand, because they are affecting the saturation of the dodged or burned areas quite a bit. Right here in the burned areas, you can see they got a lot more desaturated. And by using the dodging tool, I do add more saturation to the area. So that's kind of a problem. On the other hand, I cannot really be that precise using those tools. I can just specify my range by shadows, midtones and highlights. And for this reason, I love to use the TK panel plugin to create luminosity masks. So let's turn those layers off, duplicate our background layer once more. And now I'm showing the dodging process using the TK panel plugin. Now this plugin does cost a bit of money, but there's also a smaller free version of it if you're signing up for the newsletter. So I'm going to link the website in the description below. Dodging and burning with this plugin is a little more complex. First off, I want to show the easiest way without using this plugin though. Therefore, I'm creating a new layer, switch the blending mode to overlay, which is really important to do the dodging and burning. And then I'm grabbing the brush tool, set the foreground color to white if I want to dodge or black if I want to burn. And with this white brush, I also make sure to use a low brush opacity. Otherwise, the dodging effect will get way too strong. And then I'm just brushing in on this new layer. The problem with this layer is we are affecting the shadows, the midtones and the highlights all together. So if you want to be precise, here is where the TK panel plugin comes in handy. Here you can also target highlights, shadows and midtones. But we can be way, way, way more precise. With those buttons, you can see there are six different levels of lights, as well as six different levels of shadows and three different levels of midtones. So let's say with our overlay layer right here, we only want to target the midtones. If I'm pressing this button here, we will get a preview of the mask and everything that's in this light gray to white color will be covered by this layer. Now to apply this luminosity mask on our overlay layer, we do have to check the layer mask box right here. In the free plugin, it might be a different button though. Keep that in mind. Then again, just hit this midtones luminosity mask button. And you can immediately spot the difference here without the mask and this one with the mask and this one without any dodging at all. Of course, with this mask applied, 
this effect is now a lot weaker than before. But that's not a big deal. We are just using the brush again. Maybe we turn up the opacity. And again, just brush over this area you want to dodge. And now the shadows as well as the highlights won't be affected by this dodging process. We are just targeting the midtones as we want it. So let's say we want to target the highlights. Again, I'm creating a new layer. Switch the blending mode to overlay since I want to dodge. And let's open up the TK panel plugin. Let's go through the lights luminosity mask real quick. I want to specifically target this steam. So I'm looking for a mask which covers most of it. Just like this one, the lights 2 mask. And again, I'm applying it on our new overlay layer. With the brush tool again, I'm going to brush over this steam and thus make it brighter. Okay, but now let's also try to burn this image. Again, we want to use a new layer and again, for dodging and burning, we are using the overlay blending mode. Then with the TK panel plugin, let's try to aim for the foreground. And here I'm just going through the darks masks. That's too dark. I think this one might work. Let's apply the darks 4 mask on our overlay layer. And since we want to burn the image, I do have to change the foreground color to black. And then let's paint around this rock pile. And you can already see a difference. All right, that looks great. Now we pretty much have done the same thing which we have done before with the Photoshop tools. So let's compare those two images. Right here we have the TK panel plugin result and that's the result using the Photoshop dodging and burning tools. And you can see just a major difference as the TK panel plugin just works way more precise than those Photoshop tools. We do have much more detailed contrast in the foreground, while with the Photoshop burning tool you can see it's just kind of like a gray mush in there. Also, the steam looks much, much better, but I could have brightened it up a little more using the TK panel plugin. In the end, both ways are viable, of course. Just if you want to be precise and get the best results, I highly suggest using luminosity masks. You don't necessarily have to use a TK panel plugin since there are many plugins to create those masks. However, if you want to be quicker, you could also just use Photoshop or just a simple plain overlay layer without any mask on it. So I hope I was able to share some helpful information on the whole dodging and burning process. As I said earlier, just don't randomly dodge or burn anything. Try to make out the subject in your image, maybe make that brighter and the rest of the image a little darker so there is more attention on it. With that being said, I hope this was a helpful and interesting tutorial. If you have questions left, let me know in the comments and thank you so much for watching this video.